Hi friends, it's Abby here. Today we're making an all natural nursing balm. This is to be used after nursing to help soothe and nourish and to heal. So using this balm, I didn't have any cracking or bleeding or any of those issues with nursing. So we're using all natural ingredients, including a calendula flower herb, which is known for its healing properties, its soothing properties. And so what you're going to do is you're going to infuse some olive oil with this herb. And we're going to do this a really easy, simple way by putting some of this herb in a glass jar. And then you're going to cover the herb with olive oil, which is also really great for soothing and protecting and healing. And once you cover that herb with the oil, you're going to place that either in a double boiler. You can make your own double boiler by just taking a saucepan, filling it halfway with water, and then putting your glass jar in that pan and putting it on a low simmer. You can simmer it for several hours, but if you want to get the most potent herb infused oil, then you are going to use it in a slow cooker or pressure cooker set on the slow cooker function, and you will leave it on low for up to 48 hours to get as much of that herb infused into the oil. Afterward, you're going to remove your jar and let it cool. And once that oil is cooled, you're going to pour it through a strainer. A fine mesh strainer is the best. And then you can use your hands or a utensil to press down on the herbs to kind of squeeze out as much as that oil as possible. Now we're going to just set this oil aside until we're ready to use it and move on to our next step. Okay, using my same Pyrex glass measuring cup i like that it has the different uh, measurements on here we are going to make something of a double boiler you can also do this with a mason jar just set it in the saucepan with the water halfway up i've got the heat set to high and we're going to place in two tablespoons of raw cocoa butter and i will have my resources listed below if you want to see the exact ingredients that i'm using now we're going to be adding in two tablespoons of the herb infused olive oil and then finally we're using one tablespoon of coconut oil and we're going to melt all of these ingredients together you'll find that your coconut oil melts almost right away but the cocoa butter takes a little more time to melt so that's all right just keep stirring until everything melts and mixes well together so this is the current consistency and it's going to need to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to be using some 100% pure beeswax so that it will make it a little more solid until you touch it and then it'll melt a little bit. So about half a teaspoon of beeswax pellets is uh, what I'm going to use. And then once that melts into the mixture, you can do a texture test which i'm going to do on some wax paper so you're just going to spoon out a little bit allow it to dry and then you will touch it and see if you like that consistency and if you do you can move forward with that if you'd like it to be a little more solid you can add more of the beeswax pellets and do another test and see how that works out for you so now that it's uh the way that i like it i'm going to add it to a glass jar and then we're going to allow this to cool. If you'd like to do a quick cooling, you can put it in the fridge or freezer to um, make that set quickly. So here is what my consistency turned out with, with about half a teaspoon of the pellets. And so that looks great. And you'll find some free principal labels on my website, lovelythingswithabby.com. And this is a part of my whole postpartum care kit that you can find all of these videos for these different projects listed below this video and all of it's meant to just help you with the postpartum recovery period you know you've been through a lot just having a baby this is kind of a way to take care of mama i do hope you'll find all of these homemade products diy all natural products to be helpful and nourishing for you in your postpartum period well friends thank you so much for joining me in this video today and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye